What's up, peace, and welcome back to the Lionel B Show. It's your first time tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. Also, make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Now, man, fresh off the press, man, it is actually going down, man, and there's so much crazy stuff that people actually put out there in the world just to actually distract you from the truth. That's right, Lionel B said it, man. Sometimes, man, people will tell you things in order to kind of cover the truth, man, to kind of hide behind certain stories they want you to believe. And I mean, unfortunately, in this world, that's kind of, you know, what we're fed every day, man. Now, it actually just came out, man, fresh off the press, man, fresh off the Philadelphia streets. Now, the word on Philly streets, man, is that it was actually somebody else man um that was actually in the car with teddy pendergrass now when i was a kid man like you know teddy pendergrass when he got into his car accident man like you know it was rumors coming out that he was with a transvestite it was like yeah there was a tranny in the car you know he's very embarrassed you know teddy pendergrass got paralyzed shame on him for being gay that was the word on the streets for years and years and years and years now recently, man, a woman came forward and sat down with Oprah Winfrey almost a year ago. And the title of that video is, What Really Happened in Teddy Pendergrass' Car? Who was the mystery woman in Teddy Pendergrass' Car? Okay, so apparently, man, this woman by the name of Tamika, she came on the Oprah show and blatantly lied to Oprah Winfrey, saying that she was the lady in the car. Complete with tears, um, you know, replaying the accident. I mean, anybody could go in there and replay that accident and make up, you know, a story about it. Now, the way she described the story definitely didn't make any sense. And I would ask, you know, any one of y'all, if y'all want to kind of challenge this story, y'all can go ahead and go watch Oprah's video, uh, Teddy Pendergrass car accident. Y'all check that out after y'all check my video. And y'all stay tuned to the video because I'm going to actually tell you who was actually in the car with Teddy Pendergrass. Real talk, I'm going to tell you, I promise, and it's legit. Now, the reason why I know this is because this information came directly from Philadelphia. And Teddy Pendergrass got into a car wreck in Philadelphia. It didn't happen nowhere else. It was in Philly. Everybody in Philly know the story. And I'm giving it to y'all. Because y'all, y'all my family, I rock with y'all, okay? So, apparently, man... The lady went on to the Oprah Winfrey show and she basically wanted to do some damage control. Now, mind you, this happened years and years ago, but there was always this rumor out there that, oh, he was in the car with a transvestite. So the man went to his grave, you know what I'm saying, being considered a homosexual by everybody in the music industry that loved him. Also, the fans that loved him. We all thought he was in there with a, with a man, chick. But apparently that wasn't the case. So this lady was paid. To come on the Oprah show by the Pentagrass family, you know what I'm saying, to to kind of sneak in and be like, okay, well, no, I was I was the person that was in the car with him. But it was a definite lie. She was not in the car with Teddy P. Now, she might have had some dealings with Teddy P at some point, but she definitely was not in the car in that Rolls Royce. They got mangled up. That you're watching right now. She was not the person that was in that car. Now, if y'all know a lady by the name of Turquoise Brown. Now, Turquoise Brown, for some of y'all that don't know who she is, man, she was actually the former wife of Dr. J, Julius Irvin, the basketball legend. Now, they were married for almost 30 years. They got married back in 1973. Now, this woman, Turquoise Brown, a.k.a. Turquoise Irvin, was, of course, the wife of Dr. J. And she was also the side chick of Teddy Pendergrass. Now, the real person that was actually in that car was Turquoise Brown. It was not Tanika. Do not listen to the lady. She went on Oprah Winfrey show and lied. It was actually Turquoise Brown brown now if y'all do your research man y'all can actually google this information it's actually not on youtube anywhere i promise that's why i was like you know what i gotta do a video for my subscribers i gotta let them know what it is man 
I did my thorough research. I talked to several people in Philadelphia. I did research on websites. I did a whole lot of backtracking. And even the people that's involved and know about it, they don't even want to come on camera. I was like, yo, y'all want to come on my show? They was like, hell no. Nah. We ain't trying to die. <laughs> but yeah, the truth is, man, Teddy Pendergrass was banging Dr. J's wife. And they were married at the time. Dr. J was still married to Turquoise, Thought Ass Irvin. And Teddy Pendergrass was banging that ass out. So that is the real lady that was actually in the car. They got into the car accident with Teddy Pendergrass. Now she did walk away safe. Just like Tanika appeared on the Oprah Winfrey show safe. But Teddy Pendergrass was paralyzed, obviously. But yeah, y'all, this, this, this is the actual truth, man. It was Turquoise Brown, man. Um, their marriage lasted up until, I believe, it was like 29 years. So it was like 2002, somewhere around there. You know, Dr. J eventually forgave her for all of that. You know what I'm saying? But at some point, you know, he just couldn't deal with it anymore, man. So he ended up upgrading, got rid of her. But, um, yeah, I definitely wanted to give y'all that information, man. Y'all share this video, man. Let your people know. Let them know the truth, man. Let them know the truth. And I know ladies are definitely going to be mad. Oprah's going to be mad because Oprah actually put this lady on her TV show and, and, and basically put her name on the line by putting a false person you know, actually on her TV show telling a whole entire lie that was paid by both families in order to come out with this crazy ass story, you know, just to protect Dr. J's legacy and Teddy Pendergrass's legacy. See y'all, man, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Share the videos, and I'm going to peep y'all on the next one. Holla.